Welcome, Philip Legrain. You are here to argue for less restrictions on immigration, more immigrants to Denmark. Why is that a good idea? Well, th thank you for inviting me to be here. I think Denmark needs immigrants for two reasons. First of all, um, it's, it's a small country of five million people at the same time as there are lots and lots of talented people uh, elsewhere. You look actually over the next 20 years, the vast uh, majority of uh, university graduates are going to come from China and from India. Uh, and in order for Danish companies to continue to prosper, they have to attract some of those talented uh -huh. people from the rest of the world. You just have to look at the example of Silicon Valley to see how important uh, immigrants can be in fostering new ideas. The second reason why uh, Denmark needs immigrants is if you look at it, the fastest area of employment growth in the economy is not in high tech, it's actually uh, in looking after the elderly. And because Danish people are ever more educated and richer, young Danes don't want to work in retirement homes. It makes sense, therefore, uh, to bring in uh, immigrants from poorer countries are happy to do such jobs. Mm -hmm. and, and you're also a great proponent for, for more globalisation, stronger globalisation. So where do, you, where do you propose we find all these people? Well, I mean, the first thing you need to do is, at the moment, uh, Denmark's uh, immigration rules make it um, very unattractive for talented migrants to come here. And when, you know, when, when uh, Canada and Australia are competing to get them, uh, and Britain's going to allow them in freely, then clearly those rules need to be liberalised. In terms of um, uh, allowing in lo less skilled migrants, uh, the, the best place to start would be uh, on Denmark's uh, uh, doorsteps, Poland and uh, the other, other Eastern European countries, but, but, but members believe, of the European Union. But, but I believe also in the long term, you don't think that, that that is sufficient. We need to open the borders much more widely also to people from outside Europe. Well, in terms of the talented workers, as I said, they have to come from China and India. That's where most of them are going to come from. In terms of the low-skilled workers, uh, in the short term, yes, Poland, Romania and the other East European countries uh, can supply the labour. In, over the next 20, 10 to 20 years, though, those countries are going to get much richer, mm. and as they do, uh, far fewer of them are going to want to migrate. And, and they need people themselves already, so probably yeah, well, you, the, you, the you, Poles you, won't come here that, that easily. But there is, of course, this is extremely controversial in Denmark, as you probably know. One of the arguments against what you're saying is, if it ain't broken, why fix it? I mean, the Danish economy is doing wonderfully. There's a lot of politicians outside the country. There are labor leaders, the industrialists who are flocking to Denmark to study the way the economy is organized here. In particular, the way that the workforce has continuously been educated, better educated, more innovative, more effective. Why should we change that? Well, I, I totally agree that Denmark has been very successful up until now. And I totally agree uh, that many of the elements of the, of the Danish model um, are worth copying. Uh, at the same time, um, in order to come up with new ideas, uh, you need to have it, people from uh, different backgrounds and different experiences. Just look at Silicon Valley, whether it's Google, whether it's eBay, whether it's Yahoo. They were all co-founded by immigrants. In fact, nearly half of the startups in America funded by Venture Capital were co-founded by immigrants. Well, well, and if, well, and if the, Denmark, the whole, want, if Denmark of, wants to emulate of, that whole, success... The whole of it America needs to, it, was it needs created to, by immigrants. This country wasn't created by immigrants. This country was created by the people who already lived here. So there's, a, there's two arguments about that. I mean, the fact that, that they have a, good, a lot of good ideas in, in America isn't entirely just because it's a country of immigrants, I'm sure. No, but the point is, is that Denmark is a country of, of five million people who think in many ways alike because they come from a very close-knit background. That is a big strength in some respects, but in other respects, in a world where technology is forever changing, where coming up with, that, with new ideas is incredibly important, mm -hmm. to think that this small country of five million uh, has the answers to all the problems, uh, well, I think that, you know, actually every country needs to learn uh, from outsiders, and that's certainly what's, what the evidence shows, whether it's the mm -hmm. success of Silicon Valley, whether it's China and India coming up behind. You look at the fact that China and India are going to produce most of the university graduates over the next 20 years. You look at actually the number is going to fall in Denmark because of an ageing population and you say if Danish companies want to continue to be world beaters they need to attract the most talented people from around the world. Well, we otherwise, otherwise, otherwise those jobs will go to Bangalore and they will go to Shanghai. But well, we're already attracting a lot of good people from outside. That is part of the, the, the reason that a lot of people would argue that innovation in this country is helped by a lot of experts from outside. They may not be thousands and thousands but the ones we need seems they're already here or they're coming at, at the speed that we need them. Well I'll actually tell you that um, Denmark is suffering uh, not from uh, from a brain drain. If you look at the statistics there are 40,000 more 
Danish graduates working overseas than there are immigrant graduates working in Denmark. So actually, mm. there's a net brain loss. Well, well the good thing about the, the, the brains that leave the country is a lot of them tend to come back. So, so, so they are getting educated outside, and they bring their skills I, back I because I, this country I, is such a wonderful country to do, do business in. I, I totally agree that it's fantastic that people are moving back mm. and forth, and that's precisely why you have to make it easier for people to come back and forth, so there can be that cross pollination of ideas, whether it's mm. Danish people going to uh, New York and then coming back, or whether it's Chinese people going to Silicon Valley and then coming and bringing their ideas over here to Denmark. It's not a question of, 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 of dissolving Denmark; it's a question of bringing in uh, the best ideas from overseas in order to continue uh, De Denmark's remarkable prosperity. And if we talk about the people of, of let's say, not the experts, but the low-skilled people who you suggest should come from outside to take care of the elderly, all the, the, this task that we know will be hard to, to find the hands to take care of in the future, there are already a lot of people in this country who are immigrants, refugees, who came from abroad and who have no jobs. Shouldn't we start with them? Well, certainly, I think that you know, if the uh, uh, Danish model is such a huge success, uh, then it ought to be making best use of all the people in this country, and that includes uh, the immigrants who came here uh, previously. At the same time, if uh, it's un it is unable at the moment uh, to get them into the jobs that need doing, surely it makes sense uh, to bring in Polish people, Romanians, who are happy to do such jobs. You look at the example of Britain, which allowed in East Europeans freely, and you see that one of the reasons why the boom has continued so long, one of the reasons why you know, every hotel uh, has uh, you know, Polish workers, every hospital has Polish workers, uh, every nursing home has Polish workers, is thanks to that openness, and everyone is well, better that, off as that, a result. Does that give a job to the people who are already here and who are suffering from unemployment? As I said, if there's a problem of unemployment here in this country, then perhaps the Danish model isn't working as well as some people say and perhaps it ought to be reformed into, in order to make sure that those people do work. In any case the problem remains. There are jobs that need doing. The biggest of them is looking after old people. If Danish people don't want to do them and the existing immigrants are unable to do them then someone needs to do them and surely that means other foreigners such as Poles and Romanians. Philip Grain, very exciting. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.